So I purchased these pretzels from Aldi's. And they are the pretzel rods. So basically, you dip your chocolate. And I just pour it in a tall glass that I have from the Dollar Tree. And you just dip your pretzel. And you just let it drizzle. You can tap your wrist. Just shake the chocolate off. Hello. You guys are up and ready. <laughs> Hi, Cherie. Hi, Rose. Okay, I'm just going to scrape some of this chocolate off on the side of the glass. And then you just lay your pretzel down on parchment paper to dry. Wait a minute. I want you guys to see it. So, Okay, so I'm dipping my pretzel down. And I am just letting the chocolate drizzle. So as simple as melting your chocolate, pouring it in a tall glass or cup, and let the, um, you just dip your pretzel in the chocolate and let the chocolate drizzle off. You can scrape some of the extra chocolate on the side of the glass. We're gonna shake some of this chocolate off. And I'm just going to place it right here. Can you turn on the air condition? Put it on like 60. It looks like I may have to double dip these. I'm going to tap my wrist. So basically, um, after you melt your chocolate, and if you don't know how to melt chocolate, I do have a video. So just go look on my videos on how to melt chocolate. And you just dip your pretzel rod in the chocolate, shake the extra chocolate off and lay it down on parchment paper. Make sure you're using parchment paper. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this glass so you guys can see it really well. And this tall glass come from the Dollar Tree. And my pretzel rods come from Aldi's. Um, they're less than three bucks. So this is what I do. And I'm just shaking the chocolate off the pretzel. I'm gonna scrape some of this on the side of the glass.
dip my pretzel down, twirl it, and bring it up. And then you just let your chocolate drizzle off. I will decorate these pretzels as well. So I am dipping the pretzel in the chocolate and I am just pulling up Good morning. Good morning, Miss Pickens. And you just dip. Wait a minute. This uh I'm gonna lay this one down. This pretzel is kind of it got like too much salt or something right there. So I'm gonna lay that one over there. It looks like it's burnt or something or too much salt. So you just dip the pretzel down in the chocolate. And you just let the chocolate drizzle off the pretzel. And I'm just tapping my wrist. My arms are all burnt up. I bake a lot. And just scrape some of that chocolate on the side. Okay. So while my chocolate is drying, I am going to re-dip them as soon as they dry. Um, it looks like the chocolate is too thin. Maybe I use too much of vegetable oil. Okay, so while that's um, drying, I'm thinking about um, maybe like something Chanel. So I'm going to take like Chanel inspired. So I'm going to take some white fondant here. And I'm just thinking about how to decorate these pretzels. Okay. So I'm going to roll my fondant out. Okay, so this is a, a cookie cutter I got from Walmart. It comes in a set of six, maybe five or six. So I'm going to use this side.
Well, actually, hold on one second. Let me re-roll this out. Because you know your Chanel design has the little diamond look. So if you have anything with like some type of diamond, you can use that. This is a cookie cutter I had, so I'm going to use this. I'm going to press down on it. See, it gives you that look. So I'm going to use this. And cut out my circle. And this is, I don't know if you guys can see it. So that's the print that I'm looking for. So I'll probably put the, I have the um, C's here, the Chanel C's. So what I'll do is just press down on it. Or if you have like an alphabet silicone mold with the C's, you can do that as well. Make sure these C's are... Okay. So what I'm going to do now is use like some gold to bring that out. You may cannot see it, but right here I am going to paint gold and that'll bring the seas out. So I already have some luster dust mixed up with lemon extract here. Hold on, I got that gel um, food coloring gets everywhere. So you guys have to be careful when you're coloring your fondant. So this is a just some gold luster dust mixed with linen extract. You really do need um, like a fine, thin brush when you're doing your letters so it doesn't go on the outside of the lines. Okay, so now I'll probably put like a pink bow or flower somewhere on this. I can probably, that indent right there, I can probably go around this with gold as well.
Okay. I have some sprinkles. that I'm going to use. Um, I purchased these from Michaels for uh, 99 cents. So um, I'm always forgetting something. But you can put your sprinkles on here to decorate. So where that little V forms, that's where I am placing the sprinkles. Well, these are not going to stay unless I have some. Hold on, let me. I got to get my, um, these sprinkles are not going to stay unless it's wet. I need to go get another brush. So just bear with me. Okay, so I got a little water, a brush, and my fondant tools. Well, anyways, let's just leave these off for now. Well, Let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is put the indents with the back of the brush. Actually, I'm going to take these sprinkles off. And just, hmm, like I said, I'm just thinking about how I, how I am going to design these pretzels as I go along. I'm going to go ahead and place them back on. Okay.
Okay, so that's one. Okay, so I am going to redip these pretzels because they just look thin. The chocolate, see, this looks much thicker when you redip. And you'll be able to see the difference once I um, put this one <clears throat> beside those. So I'm just dipping. And then I'm going to shake the extra chocolate. So you can see the difference already that this one, since I redipped it, so if you want your pretzel to look thick, you have to sometimes redip it. So I'm going to shake this. See the difference between those? This one looks much thicker. So I'm going to redip. See, there's a difference when you redip. And a lot of people, you know, some people won't tell you to redip to make the chocolate look thick, but sometimes you have to redip. I'm just shaking extra chocolate. See, compare it to that. I'm just redipping the chocolate. It's much thicker. I'm just shaking extra chocolate off. So you can compare this one to this one. It's just much thicker. These um, pretzel rods are real salty. I see the salt shaking off in the pretzel. just dip so for someone or I don't know someone just came in but yeah you just shake off the extra chocolate and you just re-dip this is the second dip and just shake off the extra chocolate here Extra chocolate. See, so compare these two to these. You can tell, you know, you can see how thin the chocolate looks compared to those. So you want your 
you know, you want your chocolate to look thick on the pretzel. I'm just shaking off some of this chocolate. See, there's a big difference. These are re-dipped and this one is not. So there's a big difference. So now since my air condition is on, it's drying the chocolate really fast. Okay, so now with this chocolate, I am just going to pour it in a bag. So if I want to drizzle, my chocolate actually needs to be rewarmed. But it'd be fine to drizzle. Okay, so I just pour my um, chocolate in a piping bag. I'm just tying the end here with the tie. So they're still trying to dry. Once they dry, they lift up pretty well. Like this one is dry. It's almost dry. So I use this one. Um, you just cut that tip with some scissors, but I didn't bring my scissors in. Let's see. I know I'm getting on y'all last nerves. I keep forgetting to bring things. This is my treat room. So, I mean, if you do treats all the time, you have to have extra space. And um, between this room and back and forth in the kitchen, I'm leaving stuff in the kitchen. I have to run back downstairs. I think I left them down there. Okay, so um, let me go grab my scissors or something to cut the end of the bag.
Sorry about that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is cut the end. And I'll do like a test with the chocolate to see if I want it to be this thick. Okay, that's about good right there. So basically, you just want to go back and forth with your, well, you can't see it. So I start at the bottom here. Let me squeeze out some more chocolate. So basically, you just want to go back and forth. I may have to, this chocolate's too thick. Hold on. Yep, it's too thick. I squeezed too far, so that's what happened. I need to rewarm that chocolate, and I'll just use, hmm, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and decorate my pretzels. And this is what you get when it's live. So I squeezed too hard on my um, on my chocolate. And what I'll do is go ahead and make some lines. I cover that up with fondant. So I'm going to cover this up with fondant because. My chocolate is just way too thick right now. I need to go rewarm it up. So when your chocolate is too thick, you're not going to get um, a good drizzle. using this it's my fondant cutter that I was talking about so when you mess up, you can always correct it. I can also get some paper towel and just wipe that off. So you don't want your treats to look, you know, messy. So when you make mistakes, you can correct it. just better off cutting it. So since it's going to be Chanel, you know, 
how Chanel has like the black and pink lines. I'm just going to cut this one that I messed up on because the chocolate got too thick. I'm just going to take a paper towel and wipe that off. Okay, so your pretzels will have extra chocolate. Now you have, um, now if you don't want the extra chocolate and you want to clean up your pretzels, all you have to do is take like a fondant tool and scrape it off and I think this is or whatever you have to scrape it off you just scrape off the extra chocolate I'm going to use let's see this one might use the other end So you want to get that extra chocolate, this extra chocolate off. Sorry about the camera, y'all. But I have to go get one of my blades for my um, for my little tool here to scrape off the extra chocolate. can just use one of these that I got from the Dollar Tree and just scrape off the um, extra chocolate. Yeah, that's much better. See the size? It gives it a it gives your pretzel a cleaner look. So you don't have see that? So you don't have all this extra chocolate on your pretzel when you lay it down. Now you can prevent this extra bottom. You can get one of those cooling racks with the mini squares and just place it in the inside of them. In the little squares and let the chocolate dry so you can prevent this from happening but when you're wrapping these in the pretzel bags you do kind of want these to lay flat if not they'll roll but if you want to prevent the flat bottom on the bottom of the pretzel you just and the extra chocolate you just get like a cooling rack with the little miniature squares and place the pretzel in the inside of it. But this is what it looks like. This, this, this is the pretzel that I just took off the extra chocolate. And this is the one that I need to take off the extra chocolate. So it does um, get your sides and your chocolate looking good. So this one is done. See, this has a flat bottom. 
and I am just going to take this and scrape off the extra chocolate. And I got this from the Dollar Tree. And it cleans up the size. See how it cleaned it up? Let me take some more off now. See all that extra chocolate right there that you can, you know, make your pretzels look better and neater so you won't have all that extra chocolate. You just take a knife or whatever you have. And you just get all that extra chocolate off. Jenny asks, what tool is this? This is um this is something I just got from the Dollar Tree. It's like a sort of like a butter knife, but um they're over in the um you know where they keep the utensils like forks and spoons. It comes in a pack, it has like four different colors: purple, blue, yellow. And, you know, it's sort of like a knife, but it's a butter knife. It's not too sharp. So I just take this and scrape my chocolate. I'm sure you can use like a pocket knife or something like that. You can also use your exacto knife. Let me find the blade. You know, you can also use this. I don't want to cut myself because Lord have mercy. I'm so heavy handed. Okay. So if you have one of these, these will work as well. So you just take this and just get the extra chocolate off. And I got this from Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to move some of this chocolate out the way. And see, with this, it just comes right off. Well, I had made my lines. So this is like really sharp. So you really have to be careful with it. If I were you, I would scrape away. I would scrape away because this is just too sharp. So I'm going to put this because I'm like really clumsy and I'm heavy handed. So I'm going to put that to the side and just use this because it's not as sharp. And I don't have to worry about slicing the chocolate away because if it hits my thumb, it's not going to do anything. So that's the back of the pretzel. And again, I'm just taking off extra chocolate. This is a lot of chocolate coming off just on the sides just to clean up your pretzel. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm saying I'm really, really heavy handed. Let me see what this tastes like. Mm. Tastes pretty good. Do you guys use almond bark or do you use real chocolate? So be gentle as you can. When you're doing this, or your pretzel is going to break. I told y'all I'm rough. I'm pretty rough. I've always been like that. So these pretzels look already better when you just take off the extra side of the extra chocolate. Okay, so they're playing right now. And I'm going to like decorate it with some Chanel. You use almond bark, Jamie? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with almond bark. That's what I'm using anyways. So, okay. So, back to our strips. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is like go all the way down the pretzel with pink and black strips. So, I need to um, turn this to the side. So once I get on this side, I'm just doing a quick measure and then I'll um, turn this over and wet the back of the fondant. Just need a dab of water.
You can do these in pink and white or black and pink or however you want to. They're your pretzels. So don't let nobody tell you how to make something because they're yours. You make them how you want to make them. They're yours. Do you have teddy bear treat videos? I only have um, someone else asked me about that, um, Janie. The only teddy bear video that I have right now is where I did pretzels but they were camel. Um, I used the caramel and wrapped the pretzel. And I had a teddy bear silicone mold. And I placed the teddy bear at the end of the pretzels. I think the teddy bear is starting to pick up. It's starting to be popular as far as baby shower stuff. Now I'm going to try this one more time. If this doesn't work, and it really didn't, I am just going to cut this. So I just placed the strip right here and then I cut the other side. So I'm going to do this all the way down the pretzel. But I need to um, wet the back of this with just a dab of water. to bring that So an easy way is to just measure your cut and just do that. I think that one's going to be big enough. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure that everything is looking even.
You're welcome, Journey. I wouldn't do, if you have like a dozen of pretzels to do, I wouldn't do um, all of my pretzels like this because it's really time consuming. I would do one or two just so it can pop out, you know. Just taking a dab of water. This is going to look really, really cute once I'm done with it. So I would probably do one like this and then one with the light pink. And then I may just brush one and go luster dust.
just making sure everything is even on both sides. You was wondering about what, um, Jamie, I missed her. So I'm just using a little water on the back of the fondant. What are y'all doing up so early? <laughs> it's the weekend. I had to come on a little early because I have a barbecue that I'm doing today with some family. drinking coffee and watching me all oh, well thank you I'm a happy camper now since we don't have a gas shortage here in North Carolina so I'm a happy camper this um, I had to color this fondant so the colors can um, get on your hands so you have to be careful with that this thing is not worth two cents I'm like ready to throw this away like really I know, Janie, I have to get up early, too, because um, of my job. I'm usually up about 4.30 or 5 anyways, but not 3. You're up at 3 to 4. I've cut through my paper with this. See, this is really sharp. I mean, really sharp, so you need to be careful.
Somebody told me to use like some um, vegetable shortening on that, and it'll help. But I'm so hard headed, I haven't tried it yet. I don't think I'm going to use that. This is a, that'll be too much. Yeah, that'll be too much on there. I think what I'm going to do is use this, my little cookie cutter thing, and just press down to make the C's and go over it with gold. Or... Those are my black sugar pearls. I'm not going to try that because I'll mess something up. So um, my best advice, if something looks good already, don't go back and try to um, make it look better. Because in my experience, nine times out of ten, I screw something up and I should have just left it alone. Is that this cookie or fondant? Are you talking about this, Jamie? This is part of a cookie cutter. This is part of a cookie cutter that I had. I have so many cookie cutters. Um... Oh, you talking about this? The Chanel. Oh, yeah, this is um this cookie cutter. And then to make the lines, I use this. And when I'm done with the video, I'll put down in the video where you can purchase everything. Yeah, I got this um, about when I first started doing treats. I got that about two years ago when I first started doing treats.
Yeah, I had to make an extra room in my house only for trees because over the time, just in two years, you know, I have so much baking stuff. I have so much stuff that I had to have an extra room because I couldn't put everything in the closet or uh, the kitchen, <laughs> you know. And I purchased all those little extra bins and everywhere, you know, from Michael's and Hobby Lobby, and that wasn't working. So I had to just use an extra room. So this is my treat room. Oh, your son is building you a house with the space just for your baking stuff. I know. It's crazy. This will take over your whole life if you let it. I may have to, uh, I mean, this stuff, you know, if you add up everything, it costs a lot of money. You know, all the baking stuff, that stuff adds up. Little sugar pearls are. Coming out the bag. So I have about two or three more of these to go. About three. That one has water on it. Are you going to, Janie, are you going to work out of your home or the building that your son is going to build? I'm looking for... Are you working out of your home, Jamie, or are you, you're going to take your business in the space that your son is going to build for you? Now, is that building going to be on your property at your house or? Oh, OK. That's a good idea. I know this girl here in North Carolina, I think, you know, she's pretty much going through the same thing and she's building a restaurant. She got approved to build a restaurant on her, um, you know, right behind her house. It's her land. 
So she got the city to approve the zoning and everything. So I can't wait to uh, see the outcome of that. Right. So if you have a lot of land, the best thing to do is to do that. I mean, you are saving so much money. I'm going to use this rose mold. And I am going to take one of my fondant tools and just get the extra fondant off. And just pop it right out. And I am going to put a dab of water on the back. And then I am going to put the C somewhere. I have a Chanel silicone mold somewhere, but I got to get better organized. And I just had it for my last video. That's what's so crazy. And I can't find it. So now I am going to... <laughs> <laughs> well, Jay, that's what it is. You're basically just experimenting, you know. <laughs> now, I don't want to take your time uh, reheating that chocolate up, so I'm going to try to do everything here. So I'm going to take this, and when I tell you guys I'm doing this as I do the video, so you'll see all my um, mess-ups, too. So I am going to use this C, and I am going to put it probably... And I'm hoping that the C goes far down in the um, fondant to make that C. I'm trying not to break the pretzel because I'm so heavy handed. So I still can't see the C on this side, so I'm going to press down. I don't know, something about this. The C is not pressing down good enough. Okay, that's a little better. So I'm going to take this, use some gold, and just paint my paint my C on. using the gold luster dust. My hand is really shaky, so I try to have something to lay my hand or wrist on.
Kelly. I'm kind of going too far. This is not good enough for me. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is get some white fondant here. It's not good enough. Or I can just take some gold. I can take some gold and splash. I hate splashing that gold because that gold gets everywhere. It's not good enough. This is not good enough. So I'm going to take a piece of fondant and maybe put a rose right there and then one up at the top. Okay. Or maybe I should just use this. Yeah, I think this is what I'm going to do. I think that looks better. So I'm just going to use this, the little disc right here that I made earlier. I'm going to place it right there. And then I'm going to put a dark pink rose. Since I have one right here at the bottom, I'm going to put one like on the side right here. I'm going to put one on the side. I'm going to use dark pink for that one. Or I can just use like a bow instead of a rose. Let's see how they both look. So this is starting to look cute. Let's see what the um, bow looks like and let's see what the rose looks like. Yeah, you can, um, <laughs> yeah, you can, um, yeah, that's why I said it's your pretzel, so there's no wrong or right way, so don't let nobody be telling you, oh, that's not how you do it, or that doesn't look right. Don't second guess yourself. That's what you don't do. If you like it, you like it. Don't second guess yourself. Let's see, I can probably use a white. I may just leave it alone. That kind of look cute using the white. But since this is white, I'm going to probably just use a dark pink to go up here.
I wonder what it looks like with the bow at the top. I got all these sugar pearls everywhere. So I have all my little sugar pearls. I need to get I need to put these back in the bag, but they keep rolling out. Anyways. So I have my mold. My bow mold. I'm using the dark pink for a bow. If it doesn't look right, I can use the same piece of fondant and put in my rose mold. So I'm just going to take one of my fondant tools and just press down and get the extra fondant off. If your hands are dry, it should pop out. See, I just fold this back and it pops right out. Okay, let's see. Before I put water on the back, I want to see. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I like that. So this is what I'm going to use at the top. I think this is so cute. So this is one of the Chanel pretzels. Okay. And I think we can use like the disc on pretty much all of them. But I'm going to go ahead and um, attach the bow on the top. by just dabbing some water. I'm not going to do another pretzel like that because that was really um, time consuming. I'm just going to dab just a little water on the back and attach it. And there we have our Chanel pretzel rod. Now look at that difference from, you know, a plain pretzel, which is these plain pretzels with the drizzle are kind of out of season. So let's like decorate our pretzels. Use your own imagine, um, you know, your own imagination and, you know, your own, bring your own style with it. And don't let anyone tell you that you're doing something wrong. Because like I said, it's your pretzel and you can do what you want to do with your pretzel. You can design it however you want to. So we have one pretzel out the way. So with this one, um, because I do need something to um, pop out. Hi, Michelle. Thank you. Okay, so what I package these in are the little pretzel bags. And they are wild enough, you know. But let me tell you something else. Um, now, if you have a big, like if you actually, you don't have to you don't have to put these in the pretzel rod bags. You know the little cookie boxes? You can place these, like if you're um, going to, um, if you have a lot of them, you can place these in the cookie boxes and then you don't have to wrap them up with the um, pretzel bag. You can just place them in the cookie boxes and then put a ribbon or a bow on top of the cookie box. And then that way you have all your pretzels, they're lined out pretty and even in that cookie box. And that's what I usually do 
when I have like when someone say, well, can you um, dip um, 24 pretzels for me, um, make 24 pretzels for me? I'm not going to sit there and bag 24 pretzels. So I usually get like a small cookie box and I place them all in the cookie box. So that can be something that I can show you guys too. Um, so you can just place all these in the cookie box side by side. And it looks really pretty when you do that. And just put a bow on it. You know, just stick a bow on the box. So I'm going to lay this down before I break it like I did the other one. <laughs> <laughs> and so with this one I need to get a bigger brush because I'm just going to paint this gold and um, put either one of these little discs on the bottom or rows I think just placing a rose trying to make them all look kind of you know similar but with different designs so I hate to do this to you guys, not unless I have one right here. I have to go get one of my treat brushes. It's not going to take long. Well, this one is just, well, I can probably get away with this one that I have. I can get away with this one. It's just not the one that I want, but I can get away with it. So this is my luster dust with a little lemon extract. I know some people like to use um, vodka, but I don't even like going in the ABC store. So this is gold luster dust with lemon extract. I'm going to paint the back of it. Because you don't want your customers to look on the back and see the back is pink. Okay. I'm just... Getting to... A little bit more go and that's it. So out of all the pretzels, you may just want to do one and go luster dust. I wouldn't do a lot of them because it would take the beauty away from the others because this does pop. And what I'll do with this is probably put a rose. Yeah, I'll just put a rose at the bottom. I'll use the same color, you know, roses. Since this is, I need to over some. Since this one is done. And I use my silicone, uh, my rose silicone mold. 
And if you have extra chocolate, uh, not chocolate, I'm sorry, extra fondant, you can just use a fondant tool and just get the extra fondant off. Yeah, it does, Janie. So, and you just, you know, make sure your fondant is inside the lines so you can get that shape and you just pop it out. See, I'm just squeezing the silicone mold. I know a lot of people have issues with silicone molds and fondant. You just pop it out. Okay. So this gold pretzel looks like this. And then when you put your, I'm just dabbing the back of the rose with a little water. It looks like this. It still looks kind of plain. I can um, probably put I need my Chanel silicone mold. Hold on, I think I know where it's at. And I'm gonna just put the C's on there. I'm sorry guys, I hate to keep doing that. Okay, so I didn't have to go far because I, I figured I so I figured I knew where it was. So this is the Chanel silicone mold. Um, this is the same time I got this. I'll put this down in this in the description so you'll know where you got it. <laughs> yeah, Jane, I, you know I'm always running late doing something. And um, I, I'll never forget. Um, about I guess um, this was in two thousand three or two thousand four. My um, father's mother had died, and um, my father is from Cleveland, Ohio. So when um, <laughs> we had my grandmother's funeral here in North Carolina because this is where she wanted to be buried next to her husband. And, um, you know, he was like, don't be late. Don't be late to mama's funeral. Don't be late. I said, oh, I'm not going to be late. You know, I'm not going to be late. But I really tried to be on time and I was late and I was so embarrassed because everyone was already sitting down. So I had to, you know, get inside the church and you know, try to ease on in there and get beside the family. And it was, that was so embarrassing um, for me. And I was like, well, my grandma knew I'm always running late. So that was kind of bad. So, but I'm always running late. So I'm trying to, you know, work on that. I've been working on that for a long time. <laughs> so, um, but it seems like it won't work. So I'm going to use this. And I think I am going to use white fondant. Yeah, everybody was looking. Yeah, yeah, everybody was looking. And uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah, everybody was looking. But I just, you know, eased on in there. So I'm going to use white fondant for this. And I'm going to place that right there on the gold pretzel. So this right here, these can be really hard to do. So 
So so I, I get so frustrated. Sometimes I just want to just slap some fondant, you know, just slap the fondant down, you know, because if I try to, as you already know, I'm heavy handed. So what I'm going to do right here is. Do what I do. <laughs> and it usually works for me. I just slap a piece of fondant down. And I, you know, get it down in there. And Now with this, I probably should have also got some cornstarch or tallow's powder because this one is a hard one. Sometimes this one doesn't pop out so easy. Sometimes I have to put this mold in the freezer. So I have um, food coloring everywhere. So, okay, I think I have this where I want it. And if it doesn't pop out, I'm telling you, this is like, this is a hard one. I'm going to try to make it work. Sometimes I have to freeze it. This one, it looks, it may look good to you, but it's not to me. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I didn't have enough fondant. And right there, I don't know if you can see it. It's about to come apart right there. It's about to come apart. So, I don't know. There's a little line right here. So I'm going to try to put this back in. Just going to slide it back in. And it could be that I just didn't spread the funnel out far enough. I don't know how that messed up. It looked okay to me inside the mold. No, it's a space. I can see it's a space. I need just some more fondant. And what I do is just, like I did earlier, just, I don't have patience. So I just slap the fondant on and keep it pushing. So next month, if you guys are not in my chocolate chip cookie group, I do have a chocolate chip cookie group. The peacock mold is my enemy. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, I know. I know what you're talking about. So um, I do have a chocolate chip cookie cookie group on Facebook. And um, so what I've been doing in that group is I want to share the spotlight with my subscribers and the um, members in my cookie group. So basically, um, you know, if you make treats and if you want to show the world what you do or share your business um, here on YouTube on my channel, basically you just... Um, Make your treats. You're going to make your treats or, you know, share your business, share your social media. And I'm going I'm going to start doing that for the month of June, but I may expand it to July as well. So um, I'm not sure if this is going to be something once a week that I do or a couple of weeks or a couple of times a week that I do. But. It's not going to be me. It's going to be people like you that wants to share what they do because everyone is unique. You have their own gift 
and share that. And you'll be able, that's like free marketing for your business. So that's what I want to do. Sharing is caring. I just want to help everyone. I'm just that type of person. I just want to help everyone. Okay, so I'm squeezing this out and I'm hoping that this pops out on its own. And it is. Now, this is perfect. So what I'm going to do is just wet the middle part. I'm not going to do the other sides because I don't really need that to be wet. But I am going to place this Chanel C's right there. It still looks, you know, kind of plain, but I'm going to work on that. So it doesn't look plain. I really don't want to... Guys, I'm telling you, I just messed up this C. I'm so heavy handed. I'm trying to, okay. Let's see. So what I'm going to do still looks, you know, kind of plain. So I am going to use a, let's see, I'm going to use a black bow up here or maybe a black rose. Yeah, black bow up here at the top. So I'm using my bow mold and, you know, I just stuffed the crap out of my silicone molds because if I have extra fondant, guess what? I can use my fondant tool and get it off. So I don't let anyone tell me, no, oh, you're doing it wrong. You're not supposed to do it like that. So what? It's mine. <laughs> That's what I used to tell those little boys growing up. The ones that used to try to bully me or they'll, you know, say something. I'll say, so what? It's mine. <laughs> and they would just look at me and they wouldn't say anything else. <laughs> I have a big head. So they used to, you know, tell me, Tom, you got a big old head. Tom, your head too big. And I'll say, so what? It's mine. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. It's not on your neck. It's on mine. So what? It's mine. <laughs> Someone, Sheree McIver, Sheree McIver said she hollered. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I do have a big head, but, you know, for those old boys that used to, I used to fight boys now. Um, growing up, you had to. They were bullies. I don't say, that's why you got a big old head. I say, so what? It's mine. It's on my neck. Not yours. So I don't know. Before I put water on this bow, I don't know. Maybe um a black rose down here. Let me try something. Let me try some or let me try the pink. 
Let me try a pink one, a dark pink um, bow, and then put a black rose down here. So let me get my... Hmm, you know what? Let's try some of these pearls, these little sugar pearls and see. Kind of like that. Ah, I'm not. Or right, let's see what the pink one looks like. The pink one may look better. What do you guys think, the pink or the black? I may do black because I usually don't work with black that much as far as stuff like this. I haven't, you know, put any water or anything down yet. So I'm just right now just looking at the idea. But with this, I'm trying to see what's going on here. Okay, so with this. I don't know. It's, it may just look cute with a black rose. So let's try black rose. So I'm going to use one of the uh, smaller ones. I got this food coloring gel all over me. Just put that right there. White pearl may look good. Yeah, that white may look good. I have to go in. Uh, I have to go grab it because I don't have my white ones. I have my black ones and my pink ones, so I may have to go grab it and look at it. Yeah, that white does look good inside of it because I do it all the time. Okay, so I'm gonna do a black rose. right here on the Chanel. And something got to go, something definitely got to go on top. I'm trying to make sure my C is even with this rose. Something about this pretzel. I don't know what it is. It keeps leaning and not wanting to cooperate. Okay, I think I cut too much chocolate off one side. Okay, I see what's going on. Hold on, guys. I need to scrape the bottom of this pretzel. It looks like the chocolate is uneven. And it's making the pretzel. Okay. Still doing that. I better leave this alone um, as far as messing with it. I'm going to, hold on, I'm going to go grab my white pearls. Hold on one second. Sorry, guys. <laughs>
Okay. So I have my white pearls as Jamie requested. And I use the white pearls all the time. So I know those look good. I'm going to kind of wet the inside of this. There we go. See you guys help too. I like that. Or maybe we could have used the gold one. But I'm going to leave it like that because I'm not going to get up again and be, um, I don't know what's going on with this little press right here. thinking since we do have the Chanel mold. Wait a minute. Let me get my flower here. So the reason why I'm doing the flower over is um, messing with that luster dust when it's not dry. I had gold on the um, flower. So I didn't want gold. I'm going to just wet that and place it there. And as far as the top, since it does look a kind of, you know, kind of plain, maybe I can use like um, this little Chanel, the little Chanel heart. Use a different design. Use a different design. Hey. Jenny, what are you look uh Jenny, what are you laughing at? See y'all laughing at me. Okay, so this is easy. This is like a heart. Wait a minute, I didn't have enough fun in that one. Right. <laughs> She's talking about she forgot. No, you didn't. You probably was laughing because I said that uh, the little boys used to say, you got a big old head. Like your head so big, I'm like, so what? Who cares? I would say other things I'm not even gonna say on here. <laughs> so maybe a heart right here. I don't I don't know. I don't like that. Something about this preps or wop sided or something. You know what? Oh, you know what I can do? I put like maybe two stripes, like a pink stripe and a black stripe up at the top. Now that should get her done. No, oh, I just got. Seems like I don't ever have enough room. Do you guys feel like that? Just feels like I ain't got enough room. Okay, so I'm gonna put a um let me take a look at this bow again. Well that bow kind of looks cute. Let's do the bow. Yes to what, Jane? 
kind of like that bow. Now that I look at it again, and if I put um, where's my little brush right there? Weighted some. Put a little pearl in there. Yeah, I don't, I don't have enough space. And like I said, this whole room is just for treats. But I still don't have enough space. I don't have enough room. I have these pretzels in a way. So again, you guys, I got my pretzel rods from Aldi's. You can get these. I know they're less than $3. Okay, so I wonder if I should put a stripe or the bow. Let's put a stripe. Let's let's go for stripe. Let's go with the stripe. Now I got my pretzel rods. I just don't have enough room. I do and I don't, you know? And this right here, let me just go throw this away. Well, I can throw it away right here. Okay. Yeah, they're straighter. Yeah, these right here from Aldi's. Yeah, I like those. That's the only place. In fact, guys, Aldi's is the only place that I get these pretzel rods. I can't find these in Walmart. I can't find these in Sam's Club. I mean, they have some, but Aldi's pretty much have the best. And it's their brand, that little Clancy's brand from Aldi's. That's the only thing pretty much I go in Aldi's for are those pretzels. Okay, so I'm going to do a, I don't know, I'm kind of torn in between, I don't know if I should do a stripe, yeah, I'm just going to do a stripe, one pink stripe and one black stripe. Oh, so like I was saying, you guys, I have a chocolate chip cookie group and I have some um, and that's a, I have a free group and then I have a paid group. Now, the paid group, you know, those chocolate chip cookies, they are the bomb. And not only do I have chocolate chip cookies in that group, I have honey bun cookies. I have an apple pie, North Carolina apple pie cookie. Uh, I have lemon cookies. Um, they're all good. But what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do another um, type of chocolate chip cookie in the pay group for Father's Day. Boy, I'm going to show you guys what it looked like uh, probably tomorrow. Oh, my. The dads would love that. You know, the fathers, the husbands. So I'm not going to tell you what it is, but. I'll probably put it on my YouTube channel, you know, the picture of the cookie or do a short video of it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll with the stripe. And then I talk about a lot of stuff in my free chocolate chip cookie group anyways. Like if you're trying to start a business, an LLC versus a sole proprietorship, I'll talk about that kind of stuff. I do all kind of stuff in that group. So I'm going to roll with the pink. I think I'm going to do three, like a pink and a black and a pink. 
No, I could just do two. Because I think that would be enough. So I'm just putting a stripe of pink and a stripe of uh, a stripe of black on that one. And like I said, guys, your presses don't have to look like this. You can, you know, kind of use this idea and come up with your own. Maybe a thinner stripe. Let's see what it looks like beside this one. I kind of like it. I don't know. You think a thinner stripe? I think what I can do, I think what would probably be cute is to go ahead and place <laughs> oh Johnny you're fine it's just that if I take this off and do a thinner stripe something's gonna go wrong but I can uh put that little bow right there i don't know what it is about this little pretzel it doesn't want to hold still so what i'm going to do is just i can well i don't have water on the back i don't know now jamie got me second guessing Let's just do a bow. Let's just roll with the bow. Since it's already um, wet. I'm gonna, I have gold on this bow, so I'm going to do another bow. Or I may just leave that alone. Look, let me, Jamie, let me just do this. This is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to paint over that. I'm going to leave this part so long. This is what I'm going to do. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm going to do. Leave that one alone so I can go on to the next one. And it looked kind of cute playing anyways. I may just leave this one like this and you no, know, I'm going to put a rose on the end. So I'll put a rose on the end. And I can use like a darker pink Chanel. see something. I'm going back and forth with this one. You know what? Oh, I know what I can do for the top of that one. I'm going to, so I have two different um, circles. And I have this one. I'm going to use a smaller one because on this one, I used a little bigger one. 
So I'm going to use a smaller one and put it at the top. Or, yeah, I can do that. So I'm going to roll out some fondant. I'm just going to roll out a little fondant. I got to be careful not to get this white fondant on the black um, gel food coloring. I don't have enough space. It seems like I do. I do, but I just need a lot of more space. I just need a lot more space. Okay. So I have this where I want it right in here. I'm going to just use this part. I have my, when you're doing Chanel, you want to make sure you have something like the little diamonds. They sell the, um, uh, I forgot what you call them. I have to think right now. But I'll put the link to where I, I got all my stuff. So I'm going to cut this. Yeah, the items take up the space. So I'm going to cut that. Actually, I probably, y'all, I ain't going to keep wasting y'all's time. But I probably could have done it because since that's white, these at the bottom too. I don't know. What I'm going to do with these is put like um, Oh, you off the clock? You had to work today, Jamie. Jenny Jones. That's good. I know you glad. I got to do a sweet 16 party tomorrow. Well, I got to do some candy apples anyways. So I got to figure out how I'm going to design those candy apples. They didn't give me no thing. My customers never give me a thing. They'll just tell me. Like she told me, um, hey, you know, can you do some candy apples for my relative? Because I'm gonna put this up here. Yeah, that's gonna be cute. Um, she's turning 16 and I usually have to ask her, what are the colors? And she told me what the colors were. They were pink and gold. So, now, since I use the C's right here, I don't think I want to use the C's right here. So, um, I can use this, and I know the C's should go down in it. Okay, and then I'm 
this is not the brush I want to use. It's too big. Okay, I'm just going to do my C's here. I'm trying my best to stay in the inside. Of the lines. I think I did good. Just need a. Here's the C's for the Chanel design. I can put some little pearls on it. On this one, I'll probably just use the black. Which one? That Chanel? That Chanel mold? I used it in another video. I think I have the link under that video, but I'll make sure I put all of those links down below once I'm done here. I'm going to do one more pretzel. I'm going to lay this down. like too much just gonna fall off
in the back of this one is um the back of this is already wet so this is what this looks like i probably can leave some of these take out some of these um pearls but then again I'll work on it. I don't know. I don't like it. See, this is what I'm talking about. Me and this, you know what? I'm done with this one. I'm so done. I'm done. I'm really done with this. We're just going to leave this as is. I'm done with that. I need to move on. I think it looks fine. So I'm done with that. Okay, with this one. Okay, so I can go ahead and use the C's to put on here. And I think I'll use black. Um, I'll use black C's. I'm pressing down my fondant and removing the extra fondant out the way to make my C's. And this is just the fondant tool that I'm using. Something that I got from, I believe, Hobby Lobby. It was either Hobby Lobby or Michael's. I think it was Hobby Lobby. So those are the two places that I pretty much get everything and that's Hobby Lobby and Michaels. I go to Joann's too. But Joann's don't have, they usually don't have what I'm looking for. I would put some gold on the lines to bring those lines out. I can, but the way things have been going this morning with me, I probably should leave it alone. So I'm just doing the gold lines here. Um, this brush is not thin enough. 
that brush is not thin enough. See, that brush needs to be thin. Yeah, gold and white can be pretty. It surely can. Either. Let's see. Let me move this one out of the way. Let me see. Or I can just paint this whole thing gold. And I can place that on there. But I need to let that gold dry. So do y'all have any questions? I'm going to get my flower. And I'm just going to pop it out. A tad bit of water place on it. Have extra chocolate right here. How many would I glam? Like, okay, so if I just did like the pretzels and the regular drizzle, if I had like a dozen of pretzels, I would probably glam up a minimum of three. So a minimum of three if I had 12 pretzels. So I'm gonna wet the back of this little sugar pearl. You know what? I think they all will look cute with a pink bow. See, I go back and forth so much. And I am going to put the C on this one. Yeah, they um can make them pop. I like the gold ones too. You know what? I can 
I can put a crown on that one. I don't usually use this one. So let's see how this goes. It didn't go too bad. Now the thing is, let's see if this those crowns give me a fit, especially the top lip. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. So let's see if this will pop out with these little ends. Oh. So it kind of popped out and it kind of didn't. It kind of messed up on the end. I mean, I almost had it. It should work this time. So I'm just going to put just a big piece of fondant down and spread it out and get the extra fondant off. Then it should pop right out. It's these little end pieces. You have to be really careful, really, really, really careful because they bend. So I would suggest with this crown, if you have a crown, I would suggest just popping it in the freezer. But I'm not going to pop mine in there because I think I see what I had done. I'm going to use a little bit more fondant. That's what happened. I didn't have enough fondant on them ends. Okay, so now let's pop it out. Here's my crown. And it probably still won't look right. Okay. And I kind of tilt it. Let's see. Yeah, it's cute. I kind of like it. So finally, I'm going to kind of like tilt it to the side. Wait a minute. So I'm going to put a little water on the back.
I like that. And then the little stars, it's three little bitty miniature stars. I can paint those gold. I shouldn't mess this up. That's cute. I like it. <laughs> oh, Johnny, you trying to be fun. You go, uh, finally, bam. Yeah, it's a bam at the end. Johnny Jones trying to be funny, y'all. She trying to be funny. She trying to be funny. Okay, this is the last one. I'm going to um, get off of here and let you guys, you know, get going. Get on going with your day. I'm just going to pop this Chanel out. Oh, I think I was going to do one of these. No. Uh, Let's just pop this out. Let's go ahead and just pop this out and then look a little plain. I can splash some gold. So what I'm going to do is um, guys, I want to really get my um, drills along my pretzels. Maybe a gold bow. Yeah, a gold bow would look cute. Yeah, I think that would look cute. Maybe a gold. Yeah, that would look cute. Black seas. I got gold. You know what? I forgot about this. And then I can place the seas. Maybe place that in the middle and put the black seas on it. I don't know. Or moving some of this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna do what my subscriber Jane, my subscriber Jane Jones said. She said, "Put a gold bow on the top." So I'm going to put a gold bow on the top. I think that's... Um, let me get my black C's together here. You know what?
See, these little pearls, uh, they keep falling off. Uh, like that. Now, this will take too much time. I can, like, put these, glue these on with, um, like, some water. If it was there, I have to go get my edible glue and glue each one on. But that will take too much time. So we're going to do what Janie said. Let's do a gold bowl. People don't know the brainstorming or details that we change on these trees. Of course I know, Janie. How do we be in here? Child, I changed something up at the last minute. I can be done with 12 pretzels and change all of them up. But that's why I said don't say and guess yourself. Just go with the flow. And get it over with. Just go on with the flow. Go with the flow. Is Cherie still on here? Yeah, just go on with the flow. That's the best thing to do because if you second guess yourself, you'll be doing something all day that could have took you one hour. Janie, are you in my chocolate chip cookie group? Right. And see, I'd be doing the same thing with candy apples, and I'd be hating that because them candy apples, shoot. I think this will look cute with just a white bow. And then have the black Chanel. It's probably because I'm trying to hurry up and get off of here, too. Yeah, I'm just going to do the white bow and call it a little day. Slap that baby on. Okay, I'll make sure I post the links and then use a black, the black C Chanel. And then I'm done. Yeah, make sure you get in my, if you guys are not in my chocolate chip cookie group, make sure I have a free one and I have a paid one. Just go to the free one and um, because in the free one, I post what I'm doing in the paid one. But of course, I don't show you what I'm doing, but I just like post a picture. Now, what did I do? Oh, here it is my little tool
Now you may start doing cookies. <laughs> I love chocolate chip cookies. I love a good chocolate chip cookie recipe. Ooh, honey. You know, the cookie company used to have some real good chocolate chip cookies back in the day. Those cookies don't taste the same anymore. They need to go back to the old recipe. And I'm going to tell you another place. Now, Chick-fil-A got some good chocolate chip cookies only if they are warm. If they are cold, those cookies ain't worth it. They ain't worth two cents. But if they good and hot and warm, Chick-fil-A got some good chocolate chip cookies. But if they cold, you can forget it. It was trash. I threw it out the window. I was so mad. It was cold. It wasn't warm and hot. It was trash when it was cold. It wasn't too good. I just threw it out the window. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I don't like or Oreos okay. But I love, man, I can eat chocolate chip cookies all day. Oreos okay. I have to have the vanilla um, as far as the Oreos. I know a lot of people like the chocolate ones. <laughs> you know? I knew someone was going to say that. <laughs> but no, I was so mad. But I went back and got it and threw it in the trash. <laughs> Yeah, I went back and picked it up and threw it in the trash. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to pop this C. So I got something I got to do here in the, at 2 o'clock. I ain't going to be on here all day with you, Jane, fooling around with you. Okay, here's the C. I'm just going to dab some water on the back and place the C, the Chanel C's like that. Let me straighten it out some. And then I'm going to put a dark pink rose on top of the C. Like I have on the gold one. And then I'm done, guys. Yeah, I use them. I use them. It's just like some of them, like this one's kind of hard to get out. You just got to pop them out as best as you can. Just gonna dab a little water on the back. This probably will look cute with gold, a gold bow. But I'm gonna leave it alone because something happened and I'll break the pretzel again. Okay, so if you guys have any questions or if you have any questions after I cut off this um, stream, just make sure you comment down below. Comment down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Oh my gosh. I didn't have enough water on this one. So I don't know if you guys saw what just happened. My C. 
came off. But anyways. I got it back on there. It just needs time to dry. That's all. It just needs a little time to dry. Straighten that back up. See, I'm, I'm messing now. I don't want to mess something up. Okay. Okay, so I take a better picture of these and then I'll post them up. So if you guys don't have any questions, I'm going to get going. I'm going to get you um, off of here. So you guys have a great weekend. Have a great Saturday. I'll be back on. I'm going to do some camel. You're going to go do some pretzels? Okay, Jamie. Okay, make sure you... Um, I don't know how you can show me how, what, how they come out. Um... Are you doing Chanel? Well, I'm going to get going here. So tomorrow what I'm going to do, because I need more pretzel videos. A lot of people then coming to me about pretzel videos. So I'm going to do some more pretzel rod videos. But tomorrow what I'll do is the caramel wrapped pretzel. I'll wrap the um, caramel around the pretzel rods. So if you guys want to follow along with me on that tomorrow, Go grab you some pretzel rods from Aldi's. Make sure you have your chocolate um, already melted. And if you don't know how to melt chocolate, I do have a video. I'll put that link below on how to melt chocolate. Um, have your chocolate ready. Have your pretzels ready. Have your caramel uh, ready. I use the little caramel blocks from Walmart. They're a little small, miniature um caramel blocks if i have to go grab that do you guys know what i'm talking about i can go grab a bag real fast hold on so you can go to walmart this is where i get mine from walmart so hold on So if you guys want to follow along with me tomorrow, uh, you can go to Walmart and get you some of these because this is what I use to um, wrap around my pretzel. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'm going to do the caramel wrap pretzels tomorrow and just have your chocolate and pretzels and your caramel. Again, these come from Aldi's. And I'll see you all tomorrow, bright and early. Oh, yeah, Peter's Caramel is good, too. Yeah, I like that, too, Janie. Yeah, that's good. So make sure you guys, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.